And it's got us a strong start against Altingham on Saturday, but the challenge now is to build on and maintain those standards. Yeah, we're not going to get carried away. It's, it's one result. Obviously, it's a pleasing result and um, a good performance, which is, is always you know, a good, good way to start the season. But, um, you know, we've got a different test. Um, it's Eastleigh, and we know it's going to be a tough one. Um, but we're looking forward to it, um, and we'll approach it in the same you know, manner that we did the Ultra game, making sure that we do what we do and, uh, and look at their, the way they play and see if we can attack their weaknesses and, and continue uh, uh, the good start that we've had. And you say Thursday will be a different game. The, the game against Altrincham was won pretty early on, but there'll be maybe a little bit more patience and solidity required and resolution against Eastleigh. Yeah, away from home. Um, you know, we didn't have a, a great away record towards the beginning, you know, first half of the season last year. Uh, we learned from that. Um, but we've got different players, and, you know, again, it's going to be you're looking at how we play and how the individuals play and how they play together. and and it's a test of, of their character and we're learning all the time um, so you know but we we go into it with confidence as we do every game um, you know everyone knows financially you know the money they've spent easily but again they've got to put a team out on the pitch that's capable of beating us and um, you know we'll give them a tough game we know that um, it's on television so um, you know, added incentive to do well and um, and show the club in a good light and show the you know the players off uh, as good players that they are. So, um, but we don't want to get caught up in all that. We want to play our own game and, and do what we do and, and let you know, our football do the talking. And the the vision that you spoke about in pre-season, are, are you seeing that? Is that how you envisage the team to play that we saw on Saturday? Yeah, in spells, yeah. Still, I'd like a lot more um, continuity in the way that we're playing and. Um, you know, but we showed in spells how good we can be. We just got to maintain, you know, our standards of what we do and, and what, understanding why we why we're doing it and why we're moving the ball and, and how we're doing it um, to create problems. And uh, we don't want to just pass aimlessly and go backwards and sideways just for the sake of it. We do want to score goals. And we want to be penetrative and and change tempo when needed to to get the opposition teams and. and at, at times on Saturday we did it very, very well. Other times I felt that we took uh, an extra pass that we shouldn't have done or um, we took an easier option than, than we could have done. We, we worked some good areas where we could have really made a telling pass when you know we just looked at something that was going to be the best one and, and, and didn't take it. So that's just conditioning the players' minds, mentality. We're working out in training and just we're slowing things down. We're making sure that they move the ball better. Um, and to take care of, of the simple stuff because that will give you opportunity to, to make a, a telling pass when it's on. But you say easily have spent quite a lot of money their front three, Minston, Minston, Constable and Fleetwood looks to be pretty potent but as we saw on Saturday, Brett Williams and Josh Scott have got goals in them too. Yeah, I mean Jordan scored and their front two scored and, and Fitch came off the bench so it was good to get him some minutes as well. Um, young Joan Gesson came on and was, was excellent and, and Tom Derry came on and you know, had very little time to show what he can do, but we're, we're confident that he can he can he can do well for us as well. So, um, obviously, goals goals change games. Uh, we've got Brett in our ranks, who's you know scored a lot last year, and um, we feel that Josh can can match him stride for stride. But you know, they've they've got experienced players in the league. Constable is, is, is on the verge of getting the Oxford all-time goal-scoring record, and Midson's been around this level and, and the Football League uh, League 2 for a long time and Fleetwood you know, plays went to Charlton and has scored goals wherever he's gone so you know, they've spent, spent money on players that can change games for them and we've got to be very wary of that as a, as a back four and back five um, how we do it and uh, but equally they'll be looking at our front two and, uh, and our forward players and, you know, wondering how they can deal with, with the threat that we pose and that's, that's what we want, we want to pose different threats I think that with the players that we've got, we can change it around, that we do give them different, different uh, questions to answer. And Sam Hatton becomes available again on Thursday after his one game suspension. It's a difficult question for you to, for you to answer. I thought the, the midfield, Damon Lathrop and Kieran Forbes did well. They did, they did very well. Um, but, you know, that's, that's why we, we've put the squad together. We, we felt last year that we probably had a strong 11 or 12 and, and the rest were sort of squad players whereas this year you know near enough everyone we've got you'd like to think could play 
you know, 40 games and be comfortable. And, and, and that's you know, the dilemma I have as a, as a manager is obviously we've got to look at fitness wise, we've got to look at the games that we've got coming up and how quickly they're coming up. And early part of the season, we want to make sure that you know we have enough legs and energy in our team to, to be able to play the games at a tempo that we want. And, um, you know, not flogging it all sort of thing and, and sometimes you have to take people out to give them a rest. Sometimes younger players need to, to have a break because you know, mentally it's, uh, it's tiring and equally the, the more experienced players they can't just keep pounding, um, pounding their games out. So as the season progresses we'll, we'll be looking at that. But Sam becoming available, obviously a very good player and played at this level for a long time. It's proven so it's a, it's a nice dilemma to have. Well, I suppose that, that is the challenge getting players fit in pre-season but not pushing them too hard that they suffer burnout in the first couple of months. Yeah, that's right. And, and you know, we've got, we've got so many games in the first you know, two months. That I think we play something like 12, 13 games or something. And they're all crammed in at the beginning. So rotation of squad is something that we have to look at. Ideally, we want to keep the same side, but if players are a little bit tired and fatigued, we don't want to cause major injuries that keep them out for a long time for the sake of... You know, them not missing one game. So we'll look at it as we go along. We'll look at the bumps and bruises and how people are performing, and uh, also the opposition that we're playing against. You know, we know we're not, we know we're not, you know, labelled as one of the best teams in the league. Um, but we've got to try and go and win every game now, depending on how that is and physically how we are. Then we'll change the thing around. But um, everyone needs to know that they they get the chance uh, to play and, and can perform. But they've also got to know that you know they're going to be picked on not just form but um, fitness and tiredness and also you know the opposition that we're playing against. So um, we'll see, as I say, the season progresses how that works, and um, you know, hopefully it'll be successful for us. And I said on Saturday, it's a good chance for the club, the whole club, to show itself in a good light. But the best way to do that is to go and get a win. Without a doubt, you know it's um, you know we've got a good win under our belts, but we want to follow that up. Um, and give us an opportunity to go to Telford, you know, in a good position. And, um, you know, winning breeds confidence. But you know, it's a good opportunity for the fans to turn out in force. It's a local derby. Um, get down there. Um, you know, don't do anything silly. You know, no flares, no, no run on the pitch. But show everybody what good fans, all the shot fans are. Um, we know that. And the, the time that I've been here and the time that I've been watching games down here for, for years and years, you know, really passionate crowd who get behind their side and, and want to support the club and, uh, and stuck through through the, the team and the club through thick and thin and that's the representation we want to show on Thursday night and we know that, that, that they'll do that and they'll sing their hearts out um, and it's a great opportunity for them to show everybody else, you know, the, the hard work they've put in to follow the, follow the team and we'll do our best on the pitch to make sure that they've got something to shout about.